Here we are at a daily demonstration that occurs in cities all across the United States. These people are protesting abortion. This is the Evelyn and David Spencer Planned Parenthood Center. Evelyn Spencer is a very good friend of mine and a very big community leader. These people are demonstrating women's choices to choose what they're going to do in terms of pregnancies. This is an occurrence that happens all across this city every day. One of the scourges of this demonstration is that um, they oftentimes hold up signs that are very offensive, um, calling doctors baby killers. Regardless of which side you stand on this argument, it seems important that women should always have a right to choose. Women should have a right to choose because too many children are born daily in this country that don't have foster and adoptive care after they're born. Women make the choices to carry babies through and have them born because churches promise care, but many times those churches are only available after the baby is born, not when the baby needs to get to medical appointments, not when the baby needs medical care, not when the baby needs immunizations, not when the mother needs help providing child care for her infant, and not when the mother doesn't have the skills to take care of caring for the infant. Then the mother is involved in the Department of Social Services, which, re which results in removal, and then children don't have homes to go to because they end up living in foster care. Unfortunately, in my work, I've worked with women who really didn't want to have a baby but felt so afraid to end a pregnancy. So they tried to use drinking, drugs, many other ways to naturally have an abortion, um, miscarry the baby, and it didn't happen. And then when it didn't happen, they were, they were born with a baby that had mental health problems, behavioral problems, physical problems. Um, this argument and this problem is a problem around the world. It is oftentimes um, driven by many of our religious communities. I'm going to zoom up on these people a little bit more so we can see their signs. This is a small group today, but usually there's a group of about 20 or 30 people. They recruit teenagers to stand out here holding signs calling doctors baby killers, um, showing pictures of dead children, abortions. Um, and it's very offensive because this is a very big public traveled street. Um, and children are oftentimes asking questions about this, and we have to discuss this with our six and seven year old children. Um, again, it's very unfortunate that um, this has to be a problem in our communities today. Um, but I, again, go back to, unfortunately, many of our religious communities um, discourage and do everything they can to prevent people from being educated about birth control, um, about sexual education, about safe sex. Um, and many people are still victims of sex crimes. They're sexually abused, they're raped. Um, and those women have to come here and pass these protesters and have more guilt and more shame added into their experiences. Instead of stop abortion now, we really should be promoting education, acceptance, understanding, and empathy.